YouTube family, it's your girl Jessie and I'm actually back with another box from Hungry Root. <sighs> so this is my second box from Hungry Root. Um, let's just go ahead and open it up and see what we got. I'm pretty sure I only ordered two meals in here. It's a pretty, pretty big box. It was pretty heavy even carrying this up. So heavy. Anyways, so here is my packing sheet where they tell me everything that um, comes in my order. And here is the like little ingredients on this side. I didn't realize they actually put like the recipe, so the steps for the recipe here. So you can opt not for them to send you another booklet. Where is it? somewhere in here. Uh, I can find it. Let's get to the unpacking. So some whole wheat flatbread, some pesto, garlic parm, Thai peanuts, another Thai peanut, sausage, some chicken sausage. This I got for my boyfriend right now. I am on a temporary pescatarian diet, so I'm actually not eating any meat. We got uh, yuba noodles, salmon. I got some meat in this one, guys. I think it's pre-cooked. Yeah, it's fully cooked. Shaved Brussels sprouts. She likes Brussels sprouts. And Calabri noodles. So that's pretty much it. A whole bunch of separate ingredients. As you can see, it's not like a bag like um, some of the other meal kits where I have like a bag of a meal. Nothing in here, nothing else. Okay, so they didn't send me the booklet of recipes, but I kept my first booklet, which is fine because I think it's a way to save paper. I heard about the news story with the whale that got biopsy. They found like 5,000 tons of plastic. That really freaked me out because I do care. I care. So I don't want um, whales swallowing a whole bunch of plastic. But I kept the booklet from the first, um, from my first box that I got from Hungry Roots. It looks like I ordered a creamy peanut yuba skillet, which is going to take the Brussels sprouts, the tahini yuba noodles, and one of the Thai peanut sauces. So. I'm gonna cook this now, and since our meals are like 10 minutes or more, that's really good. Now, the things that are not part of like any particular meal is I had ordered an extra tub of garlic parm, extra tub of Thai peanut, and the flatbread, as well as the sausage. So these are like individual items that I just ordered on the side. I'm going to do something with this, and I'll go ahead and show you guys. I was really excited to get some um, flatbread. I love flatbread. So I'm gonna make something with that and um, show you guys. Probably like a pesto. And since I'm on a pescatarian diet and I've been craving like sausage, I might go out and get soy riso. So I'm super excited. All right, I'm gonna cook this first meal which is a creamy peanut yuba skillet. Hold on, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Bam, your girl got it on the first right there, this second one. I'm gonna go ahead and make that and I should be back in eight minutes. <laughs> All done, it's literally 10 minutes later and my meal is done. So here is this yuba, what is it, creamy peanut yuba skillet, and um, those are the two servings, so it's a serving size of two. Um, this, to me, is not quite enough for my dinner, so I'm just going to, actually I have in the oven baking some fish sticks, just some fish sticks that are, are already like pre-packaged from Trader Joe's. Anyways, let's try it. I Last time I didn't really love the yuba noodles, so I'm hoping maybe whatever the sauce is, or maybe in conjunction with the ginger, ginger, in conjunction with the Brussels sprouts, that I'll like it this time. Okay, there's my bite. Mm. 
I like the peanut sauce, super peanutty. It actually tastes like sauce you could use to make like, like a pad thai in a way. It's really good. And the Brussels sprouts are a little crispy. The Yuba noodles just taste like, I actually don't think it has a lot of taste to it. Like, to me it's kind of bland, the Yuba noodles itself. The Brussels sprouts are delicious. Um, I love Brussels sprouts, so it's like nice and crunchy. It tastes really good with the peanut sauce. So, there's not a lot of depth in the dish because it's only three ingredients. So, what do you expect? The Brussels sprouts, because you caramelize them first, they taste a little charred. So, you do have the charred taste from the Brussels sprouts. But the sauce is really peanutty, so it kind of overpowers the rest of the flavors in the dish. I'm going to eat this with some fish sticks so that's good that's it for this meal I'll see you guys right now in a second when I make a pesto salmon colabri noodles or when I make um, something with the flatbreads so I'll see you guys in a few seconds sorry guys I got like food all in my mouth I'll see you guys in a couple of seconds with the rest of this box stay tuned don't go anywhere Hi YouTube, we are going to make my last meal from Hungry Root. This um, last meal I think is a pesto salmon calabri noodle pasta. So last meal I made with the Thai peanut sauce that um, you just saw, I really hated it. It was, hey, you know, when I ate it or tasted it, it was fine, but the more I ate it, I was like, ugh. So I'm gonna actually make two separate types of flatbread there's three in here so i'm gonna actually make two that are similar and then one that's different one that i'm gonna make that's gonna be just like one is going to use bruschetta and these are ingredients i bought at trader joe's so i'm gonna use bruschetta sauce with soy riso i'm gonna chop up some mushrooms i'm going to put some fresh mozzarella mozzarella and pineapple these are like little cut up pineapple. I'm just gonna get one and put a few, um, sprinkle a few on that one pizza. And the second pizza, I am going to use the garlic parmesan from Hungry Root. Some broccoli. I'm going to take some of these, put them in a separate little bowl, like just a little bit in a separate bowl, and then sprinkle a little water and cover it with a wet or damped paper towel and just microwave it then I'll probably chop it up a little bit and then sweet peppers which I'm just gonna rinse and chop and some corn and then my boyfriend is actually allergic to shrimp but these flavors lend itself well to a shrimp so I have some shrimp and these were just sitting in my freezer so I, if you ask me, if you, anytime you open my freezer, you will always find three things. You will always find at least some sort of frozen shrimp. You're gonna find ice cream for sure. And, um, and then you will find probably a salmon somewhere because I, I just love those things. And whenever I see them on sale, I just buy like a pound and then I just put it in the freezer. So I'm gonna put shrimp on one of them and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on another one. So I'll do two pizzas with those exact same ingredients I showed you, but I'll only put shrimp on one. And then I got the sweet Italian chicken sausage that came from Hungry Root, which will go on my boyfriend. Since I'm on a pescatarian diet, I won't be eating the sausage. Then I found some avocado in my fridge. It seems like it's half. And I might like put that on top, like after the pizza is made and some arugula. So all of those ingredients that I just showed you outside of what came from Hungry Root and the shrimp, um, which was sitting in my fr freezer, all of those ingredients cost like $20 or less. So this is really affordable. I'm gonna cook the pizza on a pizza stone. So when I first started cooking, I went to a cooking class and I 
took a class where we made pizza. And I was trying to figure out why every time we make pizza at home in our oven, it doesn't come out right. Like it's soggy or it's too hard or, and it's all because of a pizza stone. So the pizza stone, if you want to make pizza at home, it's going to like change your life. If you want to make pizza at home and you just have a regular oven. So it's not expensive. You can like purchase them. They normally run from like, I would say like 15 to 40 bucks. But like that's the price range. I'm gonna make these. I'm gonna throw them in my oven and you will see the final product. I'll see you guys right now. So this meal took me about, or the pizzas took me about an hour to 45 minutes to prep and then it takes like 10 minutes to cook. So let's go ahead and try Actually, this smells really good, probably because of the salmon. So maybe I will end up liking it. I know I have like a negative view going in and it's because I didn't like my original Calabri meal and then I really hated my meal, the last meal I had. So, um, but it, this smells really good. I did enjoy the first meal from Hungry Root. So here's my bite. Look at all that steam. Um, this smells a little bit better. I do love the salmon. It has a such a good taste. Mmm. It is really good. The salmon is so good. The Calabri noodles still have that same taste, so they're not my favorite, but the salmon taste is so strong that, well, the Calabri has a little bit of a taste, a little bit of a cabbage taste, which isn't bad. And the pesto, I was really light on it, so I don't taste it too much. It's like a light sprinkling of pesto. So I really get the salmon, which I actually really like. So this is a little bit better of a dish. Is it something I would eat again or invest in again? I think it depends on my situation. So check out my full review to kind of get my ideas on that. In terms of the flatbread pizza, I'm just gonna try a little bit. I'm just gonna tear it off here. This looks so good. Look at that, guys. I just tore it off. So it's shrimp, broccoli, there's corn. So I'm really gonna just talk to you more about how the flatbread and the sauce taste since that's from Hungry Root. That is delicious. Mm-hmm. And this right here that's coming out, that's shallots. So I had some shallots in here. I have the peppers, the sweet peppers right here. And the flatbread does its job. So the flatbread's really good. It holds up to the rest of the pizza, like it's able to hold the rest of the pizza without taking away from it. It's really good. Mm. That's the other flatbread. So oily. With the soy riso, the arugula, ooh, and the fresh milk. That one is mm, bellissimo. All right, you guys, I'm going to eat. I'm in love with these pizzas. The salmon noodles are okay. So if I had this as a meal, I actually wouldn't. Mind, I showed you one bowl, that was the whole thing. It is two portions, I'm not eating that whole thing. I'm so glad you went with me on this journey through Hungry Root. This is the end of my journey with Hungry Root. And I will tell you about what I think in terms of how it might work for you. So don't forget to like this video, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.